Hi, this is Jim Langley with a look at some of the details of how you install Bird's new super light flexible space age fabric spokes. Bird spokes, according to the company, are made from an advanced polymer called ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, or UHMWPE. It has 12 times the strength to weight ratio of steel and floats on water. It also has a significantly improved fatigue life and is impervious to the elements. This is what makes bird spokes the lightest, strongest, and most durable spokes ever invented. Quote, you can see that uh, the shiny silver there on the spoke hubs. That's because in order to use the spokes and install them, you have to chamfer or actually um, you have to round and smooth the edges of the spoke holes so that there's no sharp edges that can cut the spokes. Um, they give you two tools that comes in the builder's kit that you get when you well you order the spokes and then you order the building kit separately which has the tools you need to work on the hubs and two of them are um, bits that one sort of polishes and grinds away the next one smooths it um, you put them in a drill and run it on each hub hole on both sides um, that prepares it for lacing the spokes um, the spokes are actually uh, the same as a 15 gauge spoke so they have a, a 1.8 millimeter in the center on the ends it's 14 gauge uh, stainless steel standard threaded ends which you'll see so they connect to the rim the same way as standard threaded uh, spokes do and nipples and they have they have standard nipples that they use um, Bird says that their spokes uh, outperform steel and fatigue tests and the fabric that they use or the poly polyethylene um, is used uh, a friend who works at REI has told me that it works it's used in uh, backpacking tents fabrics that need to withstand extreme elements um, these spokes will work in both straight pull and j-bend hubs um, and they're available in white and black you know you look at the white spokes and you wonder how long they'll stay white so you can use black if you're worried about it um, we have the white spokes we've ridden them a little bit they haven't gotten too dirty yet but it's hard to say uh, it's possible they could just be cleaned up with soap and water too um, it's an interesting process putting the spokes in the hub the tools are pretty intuitive and easy to work with i fumbled at first but i got better at it as uh, i put more and more in um, i found the trickiest part was putting in the little holders uh, inside each loop of the spoke at the hub you place a little stiff piece it looks like a section of spoke maybe it's been treated somehow but it's much uh, stiffer uh, you put it in there and you form a little T in the loop and then you pull it tight against the hub you have to hold the little piece just so uh, if it's off to the side you you can see that it would pull through the uh, loop would pull through the hub um, so you have to hold it in there with your fingers and then you can push it left and right when it's exactly centered and then pull the spoke through the hub good and tight with your hand to seat the uh, the loop against the peg uh, so that it's tight the peg is tight in the hub and it's locked in place truing and tensioning the spokes isn't much different than working with steel spokes these spokes the bird spokes have a little flat part on the steel end and you use a tool that bird provides to hold on to that flat part so that when you tighten the nipples the spoke doesn't twist because it's a braided fabric so you don't want to twist it and unwind or, or change the uh, way the strands are oriented but it's easy to do um, the one thing you'll notice is that the spokes because they're fabric they stretch more than a steel spoke so it takes longer to get the, the wheel to final tension a lot of turns of the nipple um, and bird recommends that you let the wheel sit for a while after you've built it then come back to it and check it again uh, you can use standard spoke ten tensionometer just like you do with uh, steel spokes and get similar readings you're looking for the sim similar tension to a steel spoke which is pretty interesting because these start off as they sort of feel like string 
and they get as tight as steel when you squeeze them they hurt your hands just like super tight steel spokes do probably the most impressive thing is how light the wheels come out uh, since you save 100 to 200 grams with the bird spokes you could have a set of aluminum rimmed wheels that's lighter than a set of carbon wheels or you could take a set of carbon wheels build them up with or set of carbon rims build them up with the bird spokes and have an ultra light set of wheels 